following up with a recent announcement from Adamera Minerals announcing a recent acquisition from Kinross Gold. So let's get an update. Let's find out more. Let's go to Vancouver and we'll talk to the president and CEO of Adamera, Mark Kolababa. Mark, last time that we talked, you gave us an overview of your Buckhorn 2.0 project that surrounds the past producing high grade Buckhorn mine in Washington state. So take us through defining targets and some that you are specifically focused on. Yeah, uh, good to see you, Phoenix. Uh, yeah, the last video was really about the data that we have. And now what we've done is we've taken that data and we've we've really reduced it down to about 40 sites that we really like. And a big focus of that was on the VTEM EM data. But we took all the other data sets and we, we stacked them above to give us evidence and different weights of evidence as to these targets and how, how attractive they are as, as gold bearing mineralized targets. Shareholders are asking the question to be a bit more finer in the details, if you will. So let's take a moment to talk about the the drilling, the the permitting, if you will. What are the next steps for Adamera? You know, we're really into it now. We've gone through, we've got the targets. We're looking at three different agencies. We're looking at DNR, which is Department of Natural Resources. Uh, we're looking at two federal agencies, BLM and U.S. Forest Service. So I'm really, I'm, I like that, that we're working with three different agencies. Uh, we've got about 10 or 15 targets on each different group. And yeah, these are targets that we've put a lot of effort into. Uh, we've, we've, we've gone through the geophysics, we've gone through the geochemistry, and we're now ready to look at them. The five that I selected for that video that we recently put out had been drilled previously. And I think that's interesting because, you know, when you look at it initially, you think, oh, these have been drilled. But in fact, they don't even hit the, they, don't, they, have, they come nowhere close to the targets that we've actually identified based on the modeling. And, you know, I guess the, the bottom line is you can take an old data, but you have to look at it in your own way. And we use a lot of modeling. We have a lot of experience in this district now, and we have a lot more data than any other explorer has had because we've got all of theirs plus our own data. And let's be real here too, Mark, with all the details or all the, the strife, if you will, that's been going on in the world and all the stories we're hearing uh, out of Europe. It's it's kind of uh, it's 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 exciting to be working within North America. Yeah, you know I felt that way even before this happened, but this really reinforces it. If you're going to look for gold and other uh, metals, it's it's great to be in North America, Canada, or the USA. From Vancouver, BC, that is President and CEO of Adamera Minerals, Mark Kolibaba, and from the Newswire, my name is Phoenix.